Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to CAR Entertainment, I'm your host Dylan Hamilton and today guys we're going to be doing one of our final ever videos on A22 Biology. We are finished the spec, all of them stats. I'm not too sure about bringing you a statistics video, probably won't do because it is very very tricky to do that because it's really just something you sit there and actually just write out do your um, mathematics yourself. But we are going to be talking about the second kingdom which is of animals today. Um, it's a, very, it's a hard kingdom to learn because you, there's quite a lot of technical terms and um, differences between all the different kingdoms and subdivisions but this we'll, we'll, we'll go through it together and hopefully you have a better understanding of it at the end and this will be us finished A22 biology and, and obviously if you want as well so the biology spec for the CIA, for CIA is covered so let's go on there so the first uh, subdivision uh, or sort of first phylum uh, sorry is Nidaria which I said it's seed to begin with uh, Nidaria are multicellular organisms which are also diploblastic uh, with two body layers, that's why the DI in front, diploblastic. Two body layers consisting of an ectoderm and an endoderm which are separated by a mesoglea. Uh, they have support for a hydrostatic skeleton which are formed by the fluid filled enteron. The entron has one entrance, the mouth, and it also serves for the exit from the undigested food as well. So therefore it doesn't have an anus, uh, it takes food in one way and it uh, excretes it out the same way. So, uh, Nidaria need an aqueous medium to allow their food to drift. And you really find these in the seabed. Um, that's where really they get them in one of the first ever organisms that came on the planet. Um, they're radically symmetrical, so they can catch prey in all directions. They also possess tentacles with stinging cells called nidocytes. The second phylum is platyhelminthes, which are triploblastic. Uh, so in, in addition to an ectoderm and endoderm, they have a mesoderm, which lies between the other two. And the mesoderm is differentiated to form a nerve or reproductive tissue. These fr free body layers are solid, meaning pl platyhelminthes are acetylmate. Their triploblastic condition allows for greater development and differentiation but the disadvantage is that many cells per unit volume are involved in metabolic activity, so there's a high demand for oxygen, and this is why they're flattened dortroventrally, given a high surface area. The dortroventral flattening both increases the uptake of oxygen due to an increased surface area, of volume, surface area to volume ratio. It also decreases diffusion distance from the body surface to the body. Uh, because plenty helminths are bilaterally symmetrical, they have an advantage where on the front where their sensory receptors accumulate so they can test the environment, making movement easier. The next phylum is Analyta, uh, which are bilaterally symmetrical as well, meaning they're more rounded. They are, they are also triploblastic, having a mesoderm, but not a solid layer this time. Analyta do not have a solid layer, and therefore they have just a, a, a colon or a coelom. Now, analyds are coelomate and triploblastic, as we know. The advantages of possessing this coelom is that the ratio of surface area to metabolically active tissue is much increased, providing room for development of organs. They are metamerically segmented. Uh, they have a metamerically segmented body divided into a large number of structurally similar segments. They go through locomotion involving an antagonistic action of circular and longitudinal muscles in the ectoderm contracting against the fluid-filled hydrostatic skeleton. The external KT produce friction against the ground enabling movement to occur. So analyta in terms of their feeding, well they're usually detrivores, so therefore they have one way gut but a separate mouth and an anus. They have regional specialization preventing food waste following digestion being mixed with incoming food. And then we have our penultimate, which is phylum Arthropoda, which are bilaterally symmetrical with a one-way gut allowing for this regional specialization we just talked about. They are also metamerically segmented, meaning different regions are fixed number set have different regions have fixed number segments in each region. So for example, they have head, thorax, and abdomen. Best thing you can do about this is maybe like bees and stuff, things that can sting you. Uh, rigid, uh, they also have rigid exoskeleton of chitin providing protection and muscles that are attached internally to the exoskeleton of jointed limbs and wings for flight. The exoskeleton will limit the size of the arthropods creating the need for specialized gas exchange services. So the exoskeleton is covered in a waxy water resistant cuticle to resist desiccation. And finally, what we all are, we are under the phylum of chordata, so um, basically just means that we are vertebrates, so vertebrates are chordates, uh, so these include fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and also mammals. Uh, body forms, well we are coelomate triploblastic organisms because we are bilaterally symmetrical and we possess a one way gut. Our coelom is greater extent proportionally because it's more continuous and more extensively developed and therefore we can have more complex organs organized into complex systems such as our digestive system. 
the vertebral column is segmented into muscle blocks and the skeleton consists of internal jointed system of calcified bones. A note that you should know is that non-vertebrate chordates have a stiff dorsal rod instead of a true backbone. So you can get chordates that don't have a vertebrate but these have a stiff dorsal rod. In terms of our feeding, well, we have a high degree of regional specialization, so digestion is extracellular and absorbed food products are distributed by well-developed circulatory system. And that's essentially all you need to know about the kingdom of animals. I've been Dallin Hamilton from CA Entertainment. Hopefully you've enjoyed our biology revision videos throughout the year. Good luck with your exam, and I'll see you next time.